What's the deal? August 9th, it's 9.46 p.m. And in this video, I want to take a look at Hexo and also go over some articles having to do with CanTrust and Hexo. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start by reading this article here. CanTrust stock explodes 40% during last few minutes of trading. CanTrust stock rampage in late trading Friday surging more than 40% with less than 15 minutes to go in the day's regular session. CanTrust shares closed the day up 41%. The stock took a hit Friday morning and fell less than 3% after its auditor KPMG withdrew several of its audits for 2018 and its March quarter, a block trade at roughly 3.30 p.m. Eastern time appears to have kicked off the late session rally. Oxley Cannabis Group dropped at roughly the same time as Cantra shares rallied, closing the Friday down 13.9%. Supreme Cannabis fell 13.5% and Canopy Rivers closed down 10.8%. Also falling roughly at the same time, Cantra shares soared. Yeah, so that is pretty awesome i have all of my portfolio in cantrust i was at, i was actually uh holding cantrust while the scandal happened and i've been trading almost every day since then yeah so real quick i do have a thousand two hundred and eight shares it makes up 99.9 percent .9 of my portfolio and my average cost is $2.16. So we had some rumors this week. We had a rumor about um, Alifia wanting to uh, take over Cantrus through hostile bid. And also, all right, so I have also this article here. Uh, it talks about Alifia and also Hexo and Cantrus. So let's start this article. Will Cantrus be sold and who would buy them. The past few weeks have been a lot less volatile for cancerous holdings and investors who have bought the dip or attempted to catch the falling knife are wondering what is in store for cancerous and how the whole ordeal will end. Recently, there have been rumors that two companies were interested in buying cancerous. The names of Hexo and Alifia Health were rumored to be the potential buyers, although there are more companies interested but no names were mentioned. Last Friday, it was rumored that Alifia Health was planning to stage a hostile takeover bid for Cantrust at $4 per share. The news that leaked out was taken down shortly after, yet Alifia Health shares jumped substantially. Hexo was the most recent company rumored to be interested in Cantrust. This ordeal comes at a time where so many cannabis companies are just starting to recover and show signs of life. After such a harsh bear market, many of these stocks have been in. There is no solid confirmation that we have emerged out of the recent bear market, but share prices have been supported recently with Afria breathing some optimism back into the sector after becoming the first large cap Canadian licensed producer to become profitable. One interesting question on our minds is the cannabis sector starts to rebound, will support the share price for Cantrus and assist with a positive outcome for the company after they get over their hurdles with Health Canada? Along with their pending lawsuits. Yeah, so I'm a, I won't read the rest of this. Because then they just talk about the scandal. And obviously, uh, we already know about the scandal. They were growing in five unlicensed grow rooms. Out of the 12 that they had, uh, they were growing five in five unlicensed grow rooms. And allegedly put up uh, fake walls and all that stuff. So yeah, let's visit the Hex or Hexo site real quick just to like look around and all that. So it says here, uh, Hexo ready to explore, sleep, relax, etc., etc., etc. So these are their products. They have pre rolls. They have oils, flour and milled, and decarb. This uh, decarb actually is uh, one section or one set of products that I haven't seen in these 
uh, licensed producers yet. I haven't seen any thing about decarb products. This is the first time I've ever seen anything about decarb products from a licensed producer. A uh, decarb, in the in other words, decarb. Well, I'll just read this. So you, should, so you can know what decarb is if you do not know. In the world of cannabis, decarb decarboxylation 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 is a process that activates THC and CBD, but it can be a challenge to get it right. Our proprietary process makes it simple: fine milled, activated cannabis powered powder that is ready to consume in food, beverages, or in capsules. Basically, decarb is uh people usually heat up. Uh, cannabis, uh, so they can activate the THC, so it could be uh, taken in as uh, edibles, basically in brownies or capsules. You can throw that on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you want peanut butter. I've heard people eat eating decarb on peanut butter and bread by itself. Yeah, so these are the oils, elixir, they're, they're sprays. Right now, uh, the licensed producers in Canada are not allowed to sell edibles such as brownies, candies, infused with THC, but for some reason they could sell sprays and apparently decarb also. Um, from what I heard, the sprays were thrown in at the last minute. So yeah, they were allowed at the last minute. That's what I, from what I heard from someone that lives in Canada. So products. Um, I've also seen reviews of Hexel. Uh, from the reviews I've seen of Hexel, honestly, I they were, the reviews are not so good on Hexel. But Cantr if they do acquire Cantrust, it would really help their brand. Because Cantrust, um, they have seven awards. They have seven Canadian Cannabis Awards for their products. Yeah, so I just wanted to like go through Hexo, uh, just skim through the products. like Just look around. And also, in a bit, we'll just look at their... Growing capacity, let's do that right now. I took a screenshot of it. All right, so they're expecting, their estimated capacity is expected to reach 150,000 kilograms by the end of 2019. So that's what they're expecting their capacity to reach. 150,000 kilograms. And uh, real quick, it is very interesting because uh, Cantrust and Hexo, if you see there, I put Hexo way up here because you can, and Robinhood, you can move these, your watch list around. I put Hexo on the top. Uh, you, you could uh, see that the chart actually looks very similar to the Cantrust ch chart. Yeah, so it's, it started rallying up here. It started rallying during this time. And also, Cantrust, around the same time, started to rally. Pretty interesting. All right. Cantrus, this, I don't want to go through this article too much, but I just wanted to kind of compare Hexo and Cantrus uh, growing capacity expectations. So Cantrus, they were on the way, they were, they were um, yeah, basically on the way to uh being able to grow 100,000 kilograms by the end of 2019. That was their goal. I will not read this article, but if y'all want to pause it and check it out, you could. I'll just read this little answer right here. 
When asked to respond to shareholders' concerns, Aceto reiterated Cantra's commitment to meeting its production capacity of 100,000 kilograms by the end of 2019. So yeah, basically that's that, that's what their goal of, uh, for 2019 was. That was one of their main goals is to reach uh, 100,000 kilograms of capacity. And what is a block trade? Um, yeah, so the article I read in the beginning talks about Cantra uh, shooting up because of a block trade going through around 2.30 central time. All right, so block trade. What is a block trade? A block trade is the sale or purchase of a large number of securities. A block trade involves a significantly large number of equities or bonds being traded at an arranged price between two parties. Block trades are sometimes done outside of the open markets to lessen the impact on the security price. In general, a block trade involves at least 10,000 shares of stock, not including penny stocks, or 200,000 worth of bonds. In practice, block trades are much larger than 10,000 shares. Understanding block trades, due to the size of block trades, both on the debt and equities markets, individual investors rarely, if ever, make block trades. In practice, these trades typically occur when significant hedge funds and institutional investors buy and sell large sums of block bonds and shares and block trades via investment banks and other intermediaries. Yeah, so something really big happened today, and no one knows what's happening uh, like I said, Cantra sh uh, skyrocketed. I was up 50% today at one point. Well, 49 point something percent at one point. I did do some trade. I did do a trade. And I, I managed to gather you know, some more shares. Snatch up some more shares of Cantra. I've been trying to. I've been trading Cantra um, ever since it's. it was at a little bit over $9. And I've just been trying to snatch up shares. It's been falling and falling, and I just been trying to snatch up shares through trades and small deposits. So if a block, I'll continue this. If a block trade is conducted on the open market, traders must be careful with the trade because it can cause large fluctuations in volume and can impact the market value of the shares or bonds being purchased. Therefore, block trades are usually conducted through an intermediary rather than the hedge fund or investment bank purchasing the securities normally as they would for smaller amounts. Yeah, so I like to keep my videos pretty short. Um, I will go over what I did today as a trade, as a, some of my trades today. Well, I just did one trade actually today. All right, so I'll just scroll down if you want to pause. Y'all could see those numbers. I update all my trades on my videos, so I won't go over all these. Uh, in a few days, I will make a very in-depth uh, video on all these trades I've been doing on Cantrust specifically. Uh, so yeah, today I did a limit sell, 1,197 shares at $2.18. And then I managed to buy 1,208 shares at $2.16. Now this, this type of trade I've been doing, uh, like I said, since Cantrust, well, I've been trading like this to be uh, specific, I've been trading like this ever since I was trading can uh, Canopy Growth last year, uh, I believe during March of last year. I've been trading this way, and I started with very small amounts, and then I just kind of uh, grew the scale of the trading I'm doing. But yeah, it's I've been trading like this for a while, and so far, all this... During this whole scandal, I have been able to just gather gather tr uh, shares without fail. So hopefully, I could keep on getting some more shares. Um, I will wait though to see what's going on. I'm I'm just gonna wait and see what's happening here because I'm not sure uh, who's buying Cantrust or what. I don't want to try to make a trade. What I usually do is like sell and try to buy back like four or five cents cheaper. And I do trade my whole position when i do these trades i, I i'm i'm using my whole portfolio i sell everything and i try back try to buy everything back cheaper with extra shares you know so yeah I, i'm actually gonna wait to see who's buying can trust or what's happening 
maybe there, it's all just rumors and maybe just uh maybe Kentris is just getting their license back or they're may you know I, no one knows i'm just speculating i think they just got bought up i think they got bought out by someone i'm not sure who i think it could be hexo that's right now hexo is the most likely candidate in my opinion so that's all i'm going to say peace out and have a great weekend